We are privileged and uh, very grateful that we are able to partner with uh, Orange House from the Wellington College. This has been indeed uh, uh, a great opportunity for us to work together. We've worked together for some good years and indeed the impact is very visible on the ground dating back to Nabu Kenya Primary School which was actually the starting point of our partnership with Orange House. Uh, this has grown into a big project that has seen uh, many lives touched and improved. Um, as we know, Uganda is still one of those countries that are still experiencing a lot of challenges when it comes to child abuses, you know, uh, a lot of rights for the children are being abused, um, you know, led by child negligence, um, corporal punishments, child abduction, child labor, there are quite a number of um, abuses for the children that have been experienced in Uganda and are actually still being experienced and the COVID-19 pandemic actually was in the situation. But uh, our partnership with uh, uh, Orange House, which of course comes through with support from the students, from the staff at Orange House and also from the parents who support these children, has contributed tremendously to fighting these abuses. Um, you see that the children are now able to access education. When you look at now Kenya Primary School is able now to provide the education to over 350 children and above. Uh, you know, that is a great contribution to such a community which did not have any school. By the time Orange House came, there was totally nothing. There was just a small grass thatched house uh, which was accommodating about 15 students. So if you see that you have moved from 15 now to uh, 350, that's a very great contribution. We have men that have gone through now Kenya Primary School. They have graduated. They are working and they're able to come back to this community and support the development of this community. In that way, uh, even the income levels of these households where the children are coming from have been greatly improved. I joined Orange House Sponsorship in 2007, which enabled me pass very well to join a secondary school in 2012. That was Mitana Secondary School from where I joined to Arua School of Comprehensive Nursing in 2018 where I qualified as an enrolled midwife. I'm able to meet my personal needs, help my family plus my younger siblings. Thank you so much for what you did for us and you are still doing because if it was not your support, we wouldn't have made it. So with your support, now Kenya Primary School will benefit a lot to the community. The school started in, in 2006, May. Built from the funds, uh, now Kenya raised especially from Wellington College. The most dominant uh, one was in Orange House. So we got so many children around. And we are very proud because the children you started with emerged to have uh, a good standard. 13 of the candidates we registered for primary living, four of them got first grade. Nine out of 13 got second grade. Super, each of them got sponsored. And they were sponsored throughout from their secondary education and even uh, uh, higher institutions. I managed to start there from P2 when I joined it up to P7. That was in Nabu Kenya Primary School. Uh, they sponsored me more to have the secondary education which I had from senior one up to senior four. I opted for a plumbing course. Uh, I completed in 2019. Currently, I'm a plumber. I'm self-employed. The work we are doing with Orange House is not only stopping at Nabu Kenya Primary School, but is going beyond now Michiana District. We have now been in three districts, including Mowende and Chivoga. And this way we are engaging duty bearers in promoting children's rights. We are also supporting the children to know where they can report the cases that when they have, their rights are violated, where can they go? How can they find assistance? to solve these issues if they face them. But we're also sensitizing the adults, the couples, the local leaders on avoiding domestic violence. We partnered with 
Wellington College in the UK to organize child rights conferences. The conferences had greater impact on the community, major of which were a new interventions on board by the different participants that participated in the conferences. They gained new knowledge in the implementation of child rights promotion and protection interventions in the community. As a result, there was also improved networking among the CSOs and other stakeholders that took part in the conference as they were able to provide a complete package of services to victims of child abuse through networking and referrals. There is still more need to reach out to different areas or districts in the country with more knowledge on gender-based violence and domestic violence as well as violence against children. We need to educate people in relationships about dangers of domestic violence because this is where violence stems in most cases. Never did I wish to become a burden to others. And need and often a vulnerable whose cry is very hard. It wasn't my choice to be. So this partnership we are having is trying to address all these issues that are affecting the children. So we are so grateful to you, uh, the students, to begin with, because it's from your courage that you are able to support the communities over in Uganda. But we're also so grateful to the teachers, the staff at Orange House, who have actually come out to support uh, their children, their students, to make sure they do the contribution they can, and then be able to move forward and support the communities in Uganda. But most importantly, we are also very grateful to the parents, who will allow their children to contribute towards this global cause. But not only that, they even allow them to travel to Uganda. Every time they travel to Uganda, they are able to experience a lot of things. You know, when they come, they are able to see uh, physically what is being done on ground, where their contribution goes. But also interact uh, with the children they support. They are able to do community work. They are able to visit the communities, the households, the schools. All those that benefit from the partnership, they are able to benefit and then interact. In addition to that, during their visits, they are able to also uh, do safaris, see some nature in Uganda, the tourist attraction, the beautiful sites in Uganda, they are able to come. So we do encourage our students to always join these trips and come to Uganda. Thank you so much.